G'day. Bit of an unboxing video today. Something I've been looking forward to trying. Um, anyway, we'll get it out of plastic. As I can see, I haven't actually opened it. And I haven't used one, but I've been looking forward to it. Mentosaurus, as you can probably see. It's written the back of the front on there. Um, as I said, I don't know much about it, but it's something I've been looking forward to. It is a fermenter, we'll pull it out and have a look. Excuse me. In there. there it is there. As you can see, it's a conical. Balance there without dropping off and breaking. Uh, that there would be a yeast catchment container by the looks of it. And got some optional extras which I'll talk about in a second. And there's some instructions in there which I'm not going to look at right now because I'm not going to use it. And a stand. You see that stand? I thought the camera was, might have to move the camera back a bit in a sec. Well, it has got handles. I was wondering if it was going to have handles, but it has. So there we go. I take it that goes on there like that. Lots of parts. Bear with me. Bottom, by the looks of it, I'd say, because there's a, a uh, some form of tap that I don't know how to use yet. I pull it out and pull it, so you can close the bottom off. Guessing you'll have your yeast thing up there. You can close it off to remove it. It'll put it on, open it to to capture some yeast. But I haven't read the instructions yet on what they recommend. Um, and a lid, of course, for the other end. Now, the good thing that I am excited about, uh, as I said, I don't exactly know what each and every part is this is for just yet, but uh, in coming videos, I will show you. Um, what, what the optional bit that I was really excited about was the pressure kit. So you could use this as just as a normal fermenter, um, and collect your yeast, you know, like a normal conic conical, etc. But it also comes with a pressure kit. Now what that means is that you can either ferment your beer in there, you know, collect your yeast, get your beer off the yeast, so, and you can say, you can do it. for those people that like the secondary, um, there's sort of no need to move it to another vessel to do that. But you could also uh, force it into your keg um, using carbon dioxide through one of the connectors on the lid there. Uh, these ones are standard um, standard keg connectors. So you wouldn't be uh, seeing any oxygen, especially if you filled up your keg first with something like star sand and flushed it out with just CO2. So they would be great for lagers. I really struggle, no matter how careful I am with lagers. If I want the lager for a long time, like a few months, um, no matter how careful I am in kegs and from a normal fermenter, they always end up a little bit oxygenated. And after a few months, if you don't drink your beer, it starts coming through no matter how careful I am. This will eliminate a, a bit more of that, hopefully, um, which is great. The other thing you could also do with the pressure thing, with the, being a pressure kit, is you could serve from it. So you're fermenting it, get rid of your yeast off the bottom so it's not sitting on yeast for as much as you can. Um, you know, close it off again, whack it in the fridge, cool it all the way down, and because you've got your gas and a beer, your beer lines, 
you can serve from it. Uh, you'd need a fairly, oh, no, that, um, it was not going to fit in a bar fridge, but it'd fit in my fridge as my ferment fridge out of the back. And it does come with, I'm pretty sure it's a, a ball, which would be, I'm sort of guessing here, well, that might be one of those floating pickup tubes, so it actually picks up from the top. So you're not picking up from the bottom anyway if there happens to be a little bit of yeast left. You're picking up from the top and then going down. I think that's what that ball is for. Possibly. <laughs> that might help it float and keep it at the top. But I'm making this up. No, I'm not making it up. It's, it's something along those lines. But I, as I said, as it uh, goes along further, uh, I'll fill this in a little bit more on how everything works. So I'm really excited about this because, as I said, I've had troubles with lagering and this will fix it up. Um, plus, it's just exciting to have something new. These are a, a new invention. They are through Keking, but other suppliers are stocking them if you can't, you know, if you live a long way away from Victoria. Uh, don't worry about the cleaning. There's nothing. I, I barely scrub a, a normal fermenter these days as it is. Um, you know, you use your soap, fill it up with water and sodium bicarbonate and um, you could use a soft brush of this. I'm not sure if it comes with a brush. Uh, doesn't appear mine has. I know you can get them. I could have missed it. But you know, that's just a soft, soft brush you could use. Besides that, they look good. You'd have troubles breaking. Oh, you wouldn't want to drop it when it was full of beer. But it's nice and solid. Um, I'll leave a link down to uh, Ken King's video underneath too, just so they talk a bit about it. And he sort of, I think he shows you how they make them. Well, it's pretty simple. It's a blowout system uh, similar to uh, Coke bottles, but of course it's been specially designed for this. Um, so there you go, Fermentosaurus. I'll give you a look at that. the box. Fermentosaurus. Um, Either Keg King, or as I said, I have seen other retailers start to uh, um, advertise them if you aren't in Victoria. But I know Keg King do deliver. People always ask me why I do a lot of Keg King videos, and it's because of this. There's no one else in Australia that I know doing stuff like this. And that's why I get a lot of their stuff, and that's why I review a lot of their stuff. Um, I can't afford to bring in brand new stainless stuff from, from America, because we're fortunate. But uh, Keg King always seem to have affordable and innovative stuff. But anyway, I'm not here as an advertorial, I'm here because I'm excited to use something new. Snazzy little yeast collection bottle. All right, well, I'll let this go. I wanted to do it in one piece. Uh, so it was quick and easy for me. I don't have to edit it and I can upload it um, straight away. I have drawn the raffle but, uh, video thing, <laughs> raffle book, um, and I'll upload that video soon. I have uh, notified the winner, but I'll wait to tell everyone else who the winner is in the video. All right, cheers. Fermentosaurus, have a look for one if you're interested. Um, yeah, not bad, not bad, I think. I'm not sure on the size, it looks like a pre fairly standard size. What does it say in the box? It says 35 litres. Um, God, how many gallons is that? Anyway, cool. As I said, I'll keep these updated and how it goes. Um, I'm, uh, uh, probably within a week I'll be able to get something in it to ferment, hopefully. Hopefully I'll get to brew on the weekend and either cold chill, uh, no chill it or, or go straight in. I don't know, we'll figure that out later. Alright, cheers.